Hello and welcome to the 54th tutorial in the Kirkus 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at using the accelerometer. We'll be using the source code from the 53rd tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Kirkus 2D JS provides us with all the desired functionality for accelerometer recognition in the form of events. We will take a look at detecting the X, Y and Z offset of the accelerometer Bear in mind, you will obviously need a device with an accelerometer, so basically a mobile device of some sort. So let's go ahead and open up our app.js, which contains our current layer, and we will add the code to detect accelerometer within here. So within here, we're going to add a function, and it's going to be callback. There's only one function that you can add, not several, unlike some of the events that we've been doing. And it's going to take two parameters, Excel event, event curly braces then in here we're going to do cc.log we're just going to cc log the acceleration so we're going to do axel x plus axel event dot x plus and in here we're going to have y colon I think you can guess what we're going to do do now excel event dot y now plus again I think you can get that colon and then plus XL dot Z that looks pretty okay to me oh, yeah that looks okay so now what we need to do is just minimize this for now actually what it says is gonna make sure and now we just gotta run it on a physical device so I'm just gonna open up Xcode And now just make sure, yep, my iPhone is selected, so run it. I did click the run, no, I thought I clicked it. My bad. So here we go. Build has succeeded. So let's just record my device. Okay, here we go. As you can see on the screen as well, the values are printing out. And now if I move the device, see as you can see the Y value is increasing and decreasing. Now the X value and obviously the Z value as well. So we're actually picking up acceleration. So that is it for acceleration. Just stop that video right there. And what I'm also just gonna do just stop the application. So there we go. Little task for you to do. Look into the other uh, functions offered by acceleration event on the Cocos 2D JS API guide, uh, aka. So if we just go back here, we use Excel event .x. So these are just the offsets. So look on the Cocos 2D JS API guide for more information. Also as an additional task if you're feeling really adventurous is to move the sprite around the screen using the accelerometer as, as in we've got a sprite here so you already know how to set this position so using this move it around the screen. We are now able to detect when the accelerometer has moved aka your device has moved and accelerometer events have been picked up. In the next tutorial we will cover setting up a menu if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video just directly message us via youtube all the required links for source code will also be in the description and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day